Day three of the Aida Gurung trial brought his in-laws to the stand testifying against the man accused of killing their daughter. A warning, some of the details of this story and this trial uh, some of you might find very disturbing. NBC5 Sid Boulay is covering the case for us. She joins us now from the newsroom with the very latest. Sid? Brian, Liz, Gurung's in-laws were in court today shedding light on the relationship between them and Gurung in the months and days leading up to their daughter's death. In 2017, Ida Gurung allegedly killed his wife, Yogaswari Kanka, and attacked his mother-in-law, Tulsa Ramal, with a meat cleaver. She died from sharp force injuries of her head, neck, and extremities. Tulsa survived the attack. Yeah, you can ask him uh, how much I loved him. He's right here. Kanka Ramal, Gurung's father-in-law, says Gurung used to be a, quote, nice guy. But after moving to Vermont, Gurung became very quiet and often opening up to 15 beers a day. Yeah, he would never finish like all completely, like two or three, he would just leave it. Kaka says Gurung's drinking put a lot of stress on the family, especially for Yogaswari. Yeah, from outside it would look good, but like inside there were a lot of arguments going on and then, you know, he would argue and then that he would not let her sleep even after coming from the work, so those kind of things. Because you would get drunk, and then that's why you would argue. Both say Gurung was on medication at the time that the alcohol would interact with. They did not say what the medication was for. Tulsa says she would find Gurung talking to himself or undressing in their living room in the days leading up to the attack. Never done that before, and like even the small kids, they wear their underwear, so that's, that's strange. That's, that's why I thought it was crazy. She says an argument between Gurung and Yogaswari over money for beer started what she calls the event. And I was blocking her with my hand, and at the time he hit, he, he cut these other scars. And yeah, you should gotta check the young guy telling you and tag on your energy. I was blocking her at this time, and then he hit on my head, you can see over here. Tulsa says Gurung began attacking her and Yogaswari inside the house, and he stopped after they ran outside where the public could see, but Yogaswari then fell on the ground. And then when she was down, and then she started to hit her, she started cut. Tulsa says she doesn't remember much of what happened after that, but she can't forget her daughter. I can see my daughter's dead body. Now, Gurung's defense will begin calling witnesses to the stand later this week. We'll keep you updated here on NBC5. Reporting, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.